Welcome back, folks, to Medieval here on the Heaven Best X channel. Today we're going to be moving on to the next level, one of the worst levels in the game, in my opinion, the Pools of Ancient Dead. And yes, the Pools of Ancient Dead in the world of Galomir was actually a battleground consisting of dead forces between the left and between the forces of uh, Galomir and, of course, the forces of Zarak. So, this is going to be a bastard of a level to do. Indeed, so we begin by talking to, to the gargoyle head to give us an objective of what happened here. It's cold and dark and yeah. So basically, this was the remnants of an ancient battle that was fought here, with two sides fighting to the death between, good, between forces of good and the dark armies of Zara. True, as it is. So now you now these marshes are full of dead. And there are they're gonna be our opponents for this in a little bit of encounter. Pick up a trip pick up somebody here. Right, crossing the bridge, we will all take this one here, you'll probably find us up a book. So yeah, so what happens here, ladies and gentlemen, is that these bits of armor are invincible. The only way to kill them is to put them back where they belong, the water. But also to contend, you have all these tentacles, which are not cool. So, your job, of course, is to push them back into the swamp. And they are worth 2%. Just try and... Over here, you'll find yourself... Charon, the... D Charon? Basically, this is the boatman, so essentially he gives us a little bit of an objective, but uh, he doesn't realize that it's Sir Daniel Fortescue. But he's also dead. Zarek's medley. He's ba ba thanks to Zarek, he's basically up to his eye sockets who in lost souls from the, from the eternal sleep. <laughs> Tell me that. <laughs> If you can help me a boatload of eight lost souls and bring him here, I'll drop him. He will take us out to the sunken to Melamede. So basically, we go. Hunt, this is our objective for the level. We have to hunt down eight lost souls. To do so, he'll get, the boatman will give us a lift all the way to the next part. So we're going to be using the axe for this bit to take care of those enemies that are actually far. So let's just pretty much chuck these guys off. The last time we've ever seen those. Oh. Uh, this is a very, uh, as I mentioned before, this is a very difficult level, especially when the camera angles are a ba are a pain. Let's uh, punch this 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 one back down where it belongs, like so. Uh, I think we'll go back to the sword because the axe is not pretty good. Uh, merchant gargoyle here, merchant gargoyle. If you want to enchant the sword, which May have to. At this point in the game, you'll find that the flaming arrows need to be restocked, which we will. So let's go ahead and enchant, and uh, not enchant the sword, but that sword is going to be particularly handy later. All you gotta do is make some jumps here, and here we, here we, here's the main actual area of the game, the pools of the dead themselves. This is going to be particularly harmful because, as you may have noticed, these knights are going to be in our way. You can't really do anything unless you put them into the marshes themselves. Go back down, boom, they're dead. It's kind of interesting. Uh, we got another one there. So let's take a peek. Skeleton soldiers, which we can put them back into the swamp themselves. Actually, he cannot be killed. No, he can be killed. Thought he couldn't be killed there. Right, our objective, of course. Is, uh, now we've got uh, the little dragon guy, we can actually pick him up and uh, try that. So we get a little bit of a power source there. Like so. Alrighty then. Can start killing enemies off left and right here. This is going to be still a very difficult level. Especially the dragon's useful, very useful. And we're just going to do a little bit there, right? Pick up a chaos road, very, very useful. One, let's try and punch you into the water, which good, good point. Basically, we all, what I tend to do here is, uh, in this level, which I never did before, is kill all the enemies off. If you kill the enemies off, then pretty much start going for all the souls that we can take. 
But yeah, uh, keep the gargoyles there. Just keeps looking for the enemies. The pump keep hitting them. Puts him in the water, and there he goes. I think we've pretty much gotten the most of the elimination. So the dragon goes away. Good. Right, moving on. Let's tr let's go. Let's go get our souls. This. These are souls of the energy of the dead. The the helmet things are souls of the dead. They're all scattered all over the place. There are five of these in each of the levels. But there's the chalice that we need to pick up later on when we kill 100% of the enemies. Still thing applies here is to sink him to the marsh, like so. And here's our second soul. Remember, we got cut six of these in order to progress out of the level. Min minus the fact that we have to kill, like, what, a ton of enemies? Yeah, it pretty much should this. This is a very difficult level. As you may have noticed, as you may have noticed the levels are going to get starting to get more difficult. More challenging, and a lot more harder. Not the first time I take, could take this on, but let's do it this way. It's going to be a while before I even consider... Consider! doing the sequel because it's like I want to do more I want to do another PS2 game another PS1 game that I've never played before yeah I did beat that and playing Spyro through Spyro at the moment and that's pretty much the it there and oh I am and I did beat Crash Bandicoot I did beat Crash Bandicoot 1 effectively and 100% yes. it has been done um there is a game I technically do want to do, but I think it's gonna be I think it'll be technically a spoiler if I'm gonna get this up. Yes, I've actually have recorded a episode of a paper skirt! And technically that will definitely be going up as well at some point. Ape Escape is definitely one of those ones I wish I never wish I played. Because I own I've played the sequel. I have played the sequel. I have beaten the shit out of the sequel. I have actually played the sequel. The sequel uh, is because I'm actually used to more of the controls. Oh, fucking dead enemies are everywhere. So that uh, I'm actually currently playing through Alundra's research. That may want to get this. May get that. One. There is one game I would love to do, but technically it's an RPG, JRPG, and it's one of the finer RPGs in existence. That RPG is Luna. Uh, I was going to say Luna, but I think pretty much, pretty much that game is a very long time in it. You just don't know when to actually get to do Luna, or I just prefer doing Grandia. Yeah, I prefer doing Grandia. Grandia is a fantastic game. If you've never played it before, gee, seriously, check it out. It started life as a Saturn, but it got ported to the PS1, and, and it got an English translation, and that's how I like the game. Granted, granted the sequel had one, granted the sequel had some of the best fucking plot twists I've ever seen in a video game. And you would not believe it, much. Anyway, we've now collected six. So since we've got the chaos, so let's put them, let's put this here. We're gonna be facing off against these guys before we take on these guys. Let's uh, let's pick up a new energy vial, which now takes our life and counter to six energy vials. So technically, we now have 1800 health. It helps! It helps! Believe me, I'm just saying that we need to cut all the health files we can, because we are going to need them. And unfortunately, we're now under attack. By a lot by the ancient fucking forces of Zara, or, or in the case, some of the good prisoners. This is pretty much they start killing them because they're going to raise your score, like so. So yeah, if you're expecting PS1 LPs to come in the future, um, likely one to go likely one to show up in the future, which is probably gonna replace one of these. And run away! I forgot I'm running away. I should have paid attention more anyway. This is the last soul. We now have all eight, which now which means we have just been ambushed. A giggly fucking goo. This. We are literally surrounded. But since we haven't got no water, we got no choice but to put them off a cliff. But uh, depends. So we need to give. We need to like pound these fuckers. Right. We need to put these. We need to put these guys off a cliff. So they would do so. Blah 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 and all that shit. Just, come on. Get, get closer. Get off. Get. Get away. Go. Boom. Amstray! Off a cliff, you! Will you get off the cliff? Thank you! Fuck off! Fuck off and die! No one likes you! Like, like tubers in the old... No one liked him! Really! Nobody liked him! 
seriously, foul mouth. Oi, oi, Toby! Not even absolute get. Yeah, no one missed him. He left you two. Good riddance. Anyway, moving straight back on to other stuff. Just keep slashing these guys. They're basically unmovable. Certainly, so like a certain bunch of people I, which I don't want to recognize. But anyway, moving on. Just keep slashing these guys. Keep them pounding. Keep them so yeah. LPs. Yes, there is a sequel to Medieval, but it's gonna be. A, but it'll be a while before I even have a chance to do. Before I cover it. So other sources will be done. Spire will be the main focus. And then it'll probably be Ape Escape when this is done. And then I want to play another classic PS1 game I never played before. Um, what was it? The other one? Oh yeah, I want to do Rayman 2. I want to. I want to do Rayman. The first Rayman, because you never, never fucking say yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Why don't I, Why don't I do Rayman? I have never. I have never fucking played Rayman before, so it's gonna be completely fucking blind. It would be very fucking interesting. So yeah, expect expect the next bunch of classic games. Probably, probably Ape Escape, definitely Rayman, most likely. And now the ghosts are coming to start flying about, asking about as well. Which is really, really terrible. Let's go. Uh, before anyone else asks. The other stuff. So that, that that's probably gonna be the next wave of RPGs. It's like I'm gonna be focusing on Spyro to finish it off. Spyro is gonna be the main focus. If they're gonna be, if you're gonna carry off the LPs and you freaking thing, I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I'm killing. I've killed. I caught, collected all the ancients. I just need to kill about. Ooh, I just need to kill about roughly nine more percent, and I think I will be done with the level. I have seven more percent. This is gonna get good, isn't it? I can tell. It's gonna get good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Right. So, jump up. By the way, if you sink down into the muck, you will lose a uh, life gauge. You will lose a life gauge. You will not. I do not want to do that. I really don't want to do that. Let's just take a look around. I'm pretty sure there's like enemies hanging about them, for instance. I want to get these guys. I did. So I'm gonna need to borrow the axe of it. Start killing them like so. Give me, yep, has another 5% there. 5% to go, and then I am officially can finally move on. As it were, so I'm just worried that I didn't kill enough enemies. Where would they be? I need, I need that extra 5%. I really do. I'm not, the, I'm not going trying to pay for the 1% extra. I just want to kill some enemies. That's all. Okay. Where'd he go? There! Flying ghost, eh? Not for long. And did I kill him? Did I? No! No, now I have! Now I have to go straight into the thing. Three more percent, and I'm officially done with this bloody level! And never come back again. For seriously, I'm not coming back here again. It's, it's torture. Where is that last Point. Where is it? Different. Oh, they're coming from the. Oh, they're coming from the ground. I can now get the chalice. Thank you. I'll take that. Boom, shakalaka. We now have the whole. We have a chance to go to the Hall of Heroes. So let's get out of these marshes and head back to the boatman. For we have for the. We have to go straight to the boatman. Our lift awaits. Seriously. They're fucking flying all over the place. I don't need to kill them, okay? I do not need to kill them. I really don't. They can piss off. I'm done with this level. And I have to go on. And now basically present him with the souls. Use the soul helmet. Makes a chance. Basically, he he thanks us for being polite. Taking out those zombies, which, well, to be honest, no one likes zombies. And thus he gives us a ride all the way to the next level. But since we picked up all, since we picked up the the chalice, we're off to the Hall of Heroes again! Hooray! Yeah, that's one of the point out. There's a bit of an update. Is I get, I could definitely tell you which games are coming next from this one because there's like a there's gonna be a batch of six LP, six uh, long plays I've never of games I've never played. So it's more like platformers. Yeah, forgive me for never pl properly playing Rayman before. I mean, really, I played the sequel. I own the sequel for the freaking thing. So next up, we're going to be talking to... Where are 
are you talking to? Who do we talk to? Ah! We're gonna check, look around. I believe we're gonna be talking to... Right, we're gonna be talking? Man. How you doing? Freaking... Now then, have you got yourself a magic sword? We're talking to this guy because he does... He will give us his... Uh, I can't remember the guy, but he what? had... Daniel Man! man. Oh my god, they turned him in! Oh my god, they made him into a scouser?! Here, take mine! You'll never have to share up on My name's not Dirk Steadfast. Yeah! It's not enough just to have a magic shield, you know! Oh, this is the... This is the oh, this is the opposite of Sterngard, isn't it? One has a magic sword, the other one has a magic shield! Good lad! Why I'd sooner go into battle holding a tea than carry that weedy girl shield of his? Ho ho ho! Finally, we got a better sword. We found the ma we found the most powerful weapon in the game, the magic sword. Now we have the means to kill to to finish off the rest of the game. Should we choose and accept it, that this is the best sword in the game, the magic sword allows us to hit hard and hit fast. Perfect for all our needs. So we're pretty much done with this level. We've just crossed the pools of the age of dead. We have our next location, Bellowmead, which is another bastard location. So, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode. And uh, that'll be all for now. So, um, stay tuned next episode. Goodbye for now. <laughs>